Yo, what up everyone? Amir Hamir, owner of Rappin' and Snacking, getting into another showcase here. This one's going to be for my Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale, and the Big Steppers album collection. Got the tape, got the box set with the CD and the shirt, got the vinyl as well. Go ahead, hit me up on Instagram and TikTok, at Rappin' and Snacking. Show all my collection there and a bunch of other stuff and do giveaways and all that stuff. So first off, let's go ahead and get into um, some of this stuff, man. I, I just got my uh, copies in the mail for the vinyl and the cassette tape. I did actually do an unboxing for the box set, so I'll go ahead and link that up so y'all can check that out. And yeah, first off here, we got the cassette tape, which was available on his website. Not sure if it still is, uh, but go ahead and go to his website just so y'all can check. That's where I bought it from. I'm assuming this is limited edition. This is also uh, the only cassette that he has ever released. He did release the Black Panther soundtrack, but that's not under Kendrick Lamar's name. He just, you know, exec produced the album and is on a handful of the tracks, etc. But that's not under his uh, solo discography. This is the first one under his solo discography up to this point. So we have the cover right here. Boom, boom. The sticker. Uh, it's not an actual sticker. The parental advisory is just printed on the actual artwork. We got the spine right there. Boom, boom. And then we got right here, the whole little situation. This is the back. And then we have a clear cassette tape right there. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and open this one. I'm gonna keep this one on ice, but there you have it. Everything else is open and I'll show that. But pretty clean uh, cassette tape. Boom. Yep. So there's a cassette tape. Just got that in the mail. I ordered that. I uh, ordered that from his website. So when this album dropped and he had the pre-order link and all that crap for the physicals, went ahead and bought the uh, vinyl and the tape together. And I also bought the box set. And these shipped first because they were available first. And then the vinyl and tape shipped later. So this is the CD itself. Um, if you saw my unboxing video, then you saw me do the CD. So I'm going to do this again briefly real quick. You have the CD right here. You have the crown on the back end. Boom, boom. Uh, I don't know if I showed the back, but here's the back. It's like Kendrick looking down on a little sofa. You see this made in Mexico kind of just like on there. Um, you got the gap in the back. You got all that. And then you have the booklet, which is nice. And I said this in the other video, but it's always nice when artists put time into their booklets because it's, it's seldom seen these days. But, you know, you got the actual titles as well with, you know, who, you know, wrote on the track, the publishing information, the production, etc you know, additional vocals, mixing, mastering. It's always, you know, especially for nerds like me, it's always good to see these things. N95, Worldwide Steppers, etc. And it goes on and on and on and on. And then you also, once it's track nine, because if you recall, this album is split into two parts. Track one through nine is the first half of the album, and then it goes on to track 10 through 18. So here you kind of have the intermission or you have the picture in the middle between track nine and track 10 because that signifies the uh, second half of the album's coming up. Got Kendrick laying down, boom, boom. And then what do you got? Track one, count me out instead of track 10. He calls it track one because that signifies the second part of the album, even though it's only one disc. And then you go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. And then boom, you got exec produced by Oklahoma, etc. And it goes on and on. So pretty cool stuff. I really like uh, when people actually make booklets because like I said, right now a lot of people aren't really making booklets anymore. But back in like the 90s, 2000s, 80s, all that people were making booklets more. So this right here um, is the box set that I got first. I did an unboxing for this. So if I didn't link it up, I'll link it now. But this had the CD which I just shown and a shirt as well. And I'm not gonna go ahead and do this all over again because you can just watch the video, but just so you can see how it opens up, has a shirt right there, which I'm not gonna wear. It's a very minimal shirt. And it also the CD tucked in there, but this is the uh, box set that came with the CD. Just so you can kind of see it around. You got my fingerprints, you got the parental advisory, you got Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And yeah, not the best box. You can see it's got a little creases in it, but still a cool little display piece and boom, boom. Now this is the latest thing that I picked up. It came with a cassette. This is the vinyl. This is uh, also from Kendrick Lamar's website. This is the gold vinyl. There are a couple different types of uh, vinyl. There's gold, there's black, and there's silver. Uh, there might be more that I don't know of, but those are the ones that I know of and that are definitely official. I opened this up already. I just took a razor to open it up right there. Boom, boom, like things in open shrink. 
show you the back, which is the same as the CD. It still says right here, vinyl made in Mexico instead of disc made in Mexico, like the CD said. Same exact artwork. We flip to the spine over here. It's having a hard time focusing. There we go. P.G. Lang, Top Dog Entertainment, Aftermath Interscope Records, Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale, and the Big Steppers. Extremely clean stuff. Now let's go ahead and pull this out. Pause. And we're going to go ahead and see what's going on. Okay. Let's take this one out first. And we'll take this one out second. And nothing is inside, just those two records. So the first sleeve here, we have disc one. You see Kendrick Lamar just laying down, just like we saw on the CD artwork, boom, boom, disc one. And then on the back, you have the track list. I love this. Now, this is excellent. You have all the tracks, track one to three, four, five, six, 79, just incredible. Love that. You'd be surprised how many people are that lazy. Oh, cool. You have a gold metallic vinyl, and then it also says the tracks on side A and B. Maybe Kanye can take notes because his Donda was so minimal, it was just extremely frustrating. But this is awesome. Excited to peep this out. I think they did a great job on this one. I'm assuming Disc 2 follows suit. Disc 2, look at this image. I don't know if this image was on the CD. I don't remember this being in the CD artwork, but there you go. Kendrick Lamar just sitting on uh, the porch, the steps. Boom, boom, boom. Really, really, really dope right here on the back. Same whole situation, track one through nine. Really digging the execution of this. I think this is well done. Uh, same situation here, gold metallic frame, side C. And then we got side D. Yeah, this is awesome. Very happy with this, um, this whole design. But anyways, let me know what y'all think if you have any questions. I mean, I have the vinyl, the CD, the tape, as well as the uh, box set. So always ask me questions. I love replying, love talking to y'all. And if y'all have any opinions on the album, feel free to drop them down below as well. As always, hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rapid and Snackin', and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bless up. Appreciate y'all as always.